Right now, the radar is showing a line of showers breaking apart as it moves across southwest Florida. Once we get this batch of rain out of here, it's going to be it for the day, even though we'll see the cloudy conditions last year for a bit. You see some of the heavier downpours earlier for Charlotte County weakening pretty quickly as they get between Fort Myers and Palmdale. So the roadway is a little wet on I-75 as you head up between Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte, but most of that rain is tapering off for Cape Hayes. Sanibel, Captiva, pretty good little downpour getting ready to move across the Lee Island Islands, and some of that rain is out towards Summerlin and McGregor. Uh, we're heading towards the Estero area as well. Naples, about 15 miles offshore, pretty good little downpour. So Southern Collier is still not out of the woods quite yet. And some spotty rain here between Wooden Corner and Cluiston. This will continue to pull south there along US 27. We are waking up with temperatures in the mid to low 60s here this morning, and that's a little bit warmer than where we were yesterday. We're waiting on the arrival of the cold air for the weekend, but we have to get through a couple of other bouts of rain uh, before that moves in late Friday into the weekend. Dew point value still a little sticky out there above 60 here, and that's why we've got enough moisture to support that rainfall. The wind is a little brisk right now, 10 to 15. It will die down later on today and turn more out of the east, but we have seen some gusts this morning in the low to mid teens, and you can see those numbers kind of tapering off here throughout the afternoon. Your forecast does call for high temperatures here in the upper 70s. Clouds and a little sunshine trying to break through. Your sunset time coming up at 5 40. That reading is 78 is almost exactly where we should be for this time of year. There's the bitterly cold air starting to move into the northern plains. Minus 9 Rapid City, minus 5 Minneapolis. And once we get these lows out of here, then we start to focus on the next couple of cold fronts that will bring the changes for the holiday weekend. Looking at today, though, mostly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, we'll see a broken line of showers approach after sunset. That will move through. Then we wait on the next one around lunchtime on Friday. Friday. That's when the cold air starts to arrive. I want to walk you through this afternoon and the rest of this morning. You see those showers moving out, mostly cloudy skies, and we start to see those clouds break there around sunset. So let's talk about that cold. Here it comes diving south. No major changes from the last couple of days. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, it is going to be dangerously cold. Stealing the headlines won't be a white Christmas. It won't be the heavy snow amounts. It's going to be the crippling cold across the northern parts of the U.S. For us, that means one of our coldest Christmas is here in a couple of decades and you can see those numbers mid to upper 30s is what we're looking at here Christmas Eve and Christmas Day morning we will barely make it into the low 50s as the models continue to trend just a little bit colder here for the holiday weekend.